Hi right, guys, welcome. Uh, this is part two on using the Daisy Community Offline mode. So in part one, I showed you how to download it, or I told you where to go to download it. I um, showed you how to install it, and I showed you a couple of other optional, so optional sort of necessary things to uh, to um, do to put in your start bat, like some a couple other mods that you need to download and then put in your start bat. So when you're actually on the uh, when you're actually editing your map, you get some extra items to play with, and you get some um, extra features that you can use to play with, just to make it better and you know just give yourself more features um, for you. So this part is going to be putting it into our server. So you can see um, I'm at Krasnostov Airfield Northeast. So we've got a lot of custom stuff here. Um, I actually got a mate to do this for me, not because I couldn't do it. It's just he wanted to learn a bit, so I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm doing bloater airfield. Do you want to do crossbow airfield for me? So he did it for me. So he's placed all this. So it's a big thanks to him. But you can see this. None of this is default. Anything that's default is all that area up there. All that area, that little water tower. Um, Pretty sure that ATC at the back isn't default. It, uh, what else? Oh, there's some industrial all the way. Let's see, it's industrial down there, which is default. But I'm pretty sure the rest of this he's done himself. Like 80, 90 percent of this is uh, what my mate's done. So, um, so you can see we've got objects in the map, and I just want to show you. I've also got loot as well. So look, we've got some loot as well. Um, for the so vest, so we got some loot for them. So, what you need to do is, once you place your objects, um, you just press Control and S. You sometimes might need to do it a couple of times, but once you press Control and S, that will give you the uh, the objects that you need to put in your server. So, let's go to the server side of things and actually continue with part two and start putting this in. So if we tab out to my notepad, I use Notepad++, it's so much better for stuff like this, but you can use any sort of notepad, uh, wordpad. But what you do is, once you press Control s on the Community Offline mode to copy your items, come to your notepad and just Control v paste it, and you'll have something that looks like this. Now, depending what items, how many items you place, this bit will be different, okay? This is just an example. This isn't going to my server. Um, not like this anyway. Um, so this is in my server already, but I've moved some items around. Uh, but yeah, you'll have something like this. Now at the top here, well not at the top, but at the top of the um, objects, you'll have this. Now you could name it here if you want to, or you can name it when it's in the server. It's up to you. But I always recommend you name it, because then you know where it is. So... When you start placing more and more custom areas on your map, if you're going to have more than one, uh, you'll know where it is. So, for example, most of this is at Northeast Airfield. So, I would do, you know, Northeast uh, Airfield. Yeah, you know where it is. And you make sure you keep these two forward slashes because it stops it reading this line. This is just to know where it is. All you need is the server to read these. Okay? So, but you could either do that bit there or do it in your server. It doesn't really matter. But what you do need to do is and copy this top bit. So, from the two forward slashes down to this bracket, you'd copy that. So, Control and C. Then, you'd go to your server. Uh, so let's go to my server. And, you need to go to your MP mission folder. Uh, your daisy, and then from there, your daisy offline dot chinaris plus folder, and then in that folder, so if we just go back one, in that folder, you got an in its C folder. So you then go into that. What you do need to do is uh, that top bit I just said to copy, um, this top bit, you paste it at the top here. Uh, so above void main you paste it at the top 
above this void main. Once you've done that, you go back and get your object. So, I like all that. Copy that. Go back to your server. And then, under, so, under, you got init weather before, init economy. So, under all that, uh, you paste it under there. So, you got, like, this bracket. So, you should have that bracket. If you don't have that bracket, put it in. But it should be there. So, what you do is, uh, let me just get rid of all this so I can actually show you. You can see I've got a lot of custom objects. Let me just get rid of all that, just so you can actually see a bit better with what I'm working with. Right, so, it'll look something like that. Uh, you should have these two brackets, the top and bottom one. If not, you just put them in. But what you do then, so, I don't think it's got to be exactly in this location. I think it could be under this economy, but it needs to be above the mission. But... Because I know this works, I would just do it this way. It saves messing around. Um, I mean, you could probably put it above the inner or above the economy here. But, yeah, just do it here. So what you do is, so above this date reset is you would paste um, them objects. So... Sorry about it, guys. I have to quickly go somewhere at my door. So, let me continue. Uh, you'd copy that, okay? Uh, and then you go back to your server. And you'd paste it. Well, not that bit. I don't want to copy. Did I not copy it? Copy that. And you'd paste it there. So it would look like that. Above your uh, date reset. <clears throat> and ab uh, below your inner economy. Um, and it would be in these little brackets things. I always thought the offline mode would give you them brackets. Uh, but it looks like it don't. So make sure it's in between them. Okay. Then what you could do is. I find this is a bit more of a convenient way. Uh, one of the videos I, that I saw a while ago when I did this was um, he saved it there, logged into a server, got the objects, come back, and then uh, he got a code that, um, like a code that gives you a file to spawn items in your building. But you don't need to do that. <coughs> Sorry. You do need to get the code, but you can do it now. You don't need to, like, he logged in a server like three times where you don't need to. You can just do it twice. So, once you've got them objects, you need to get a code that will actually, because that will spawn your objects, so you need a code that will actually spawn items in your objects. So, what you do is, um, I've just got it there on this one. Control C. So, all this here is like, um, it's my stuff for my init, just in case I made a, because I'm sort of deleting stuff here. So you guys, I don't want to make a mistake, so I've got a backup. <laughs> always have a backup, guys, of your stuff you do. Right, so what you then do is, I always go to the bottom of this line, enter, enter twice, just to give yourself, you know, a bit of room to play with, and then you need to paste this line in. And I'll put this line in the description. Um, if there's anything else that I think you may need, I'll put that in the description too. The only thing I will say is oh i just know what else i didn't do for you guys i didn't do this top bit um the only thing i will say is my spawn helper function uh so this top bit will be a bit different to what you get with the offline mode it's different okay um it doesn't matter what you get in the offline mode will work it's just fine um, I've only got a different one because I had an issue of getting some objects to spawn from a mod. 
I later found out what the issue was, but the guy, the, the mod creator was like, oh, have you made sure you've used this um, spawn helper function? So I used the one he gave me, um, and it didn't work. So I was like, mm, okay, that's no help. But I later found out what it was, but I still kept this version of the spawn helper function. But you can use this one if you want, okay? It's going to be just fine what you get in the offline mode. But then what we do is make sure you put this above the top, so the spawn helper function, okay? So this will also spawn the buildings and it creates the, the position, the orientation, okay, of how you set them out. So once you've done that, and then once you've done this, you spawn your objects. As I said, you need to spawn this code, which gives you the item, which will spawn the items in your server. Um, make sure it's within this bottom bracket. I think you could put it right at the bottom um, of this, but I always like to leave a space. Um, and again, I always like to leave a space at the bottom of it too. I don't know why, it's just me, but you probably don't need to, but I like to. Um, what you then need to do, I am going to post this in the description, but I'm going to post it with these two, these two forward slashes. Okay, I'm going to post it with them. But what you will need to do is you will need to remove them. You will need them, but to start with, you don't. Okay, so, so when you get it, when you first do this, remove them two forward slashes. I'm going to put them in because I don't need to remove them. Okay, I've already done it. Um, so remove them two forward slashes. And what that does, without them two forward slashes, it means your server is going to read this line. And it's actually going to get uh, generate a file that you need to create um, items in your buildings. With them two lines, it stops it reading that line. Okay? So, um, remove them two th uh, four slashes. Then you'd click save. Once you've clicked save, um, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to. I don't need to. Once you've clicked save... You would, um, oh yeah, make sure your server's off, just stopped, okay? Your server could probably be running, but I'm not sure if you're going to save any changes if it's going to update where your server's running. So, it's always good principle when working on your server, just stop it. Um, so, make sure your server's stopped, and then once you've saved all that stuff, so stop your server first before you do all this. Then once you've done all this it, stuff in your init file, save it. Start up your server. Once your server started up and you know fully started up, log into your server. And once you then logged into your server, um, that will generate a export folder, and in that export folder, it will generate a map group pod f uh, file, um, and then in there is some stuff that you need. So what you do is you log into your server, then log straight back out. Once you've logged out, just stop your server, and then come back to your server files, and you need to go to your MP missions again, your Daisy Offline Shinaris Plus. In there, um, and again, you do need to, you can't just start your server and then stop it, you do need to log into your server to get the file. And again, you'll only get that file if you've removed the two forward slashes on that command line that I just showed you. Um, so anyway, come to your storage folder. Now, the numbers on yours will probably be different. So don't worry. That's just, you know, it, it just links. Where, wherever you set this in your um, config file, this is like where um, it's reading from. So don't worry about the numbers. Just just worry about having this storage file folder. So go to that storage folder. And again, log in your server, log out, turn your server offline. Um, once you're in your storage folder, now I haven't got it because I haven't done it, but you'll have a folder that says export. Within that folder, you'll have a file that says map group pos dot xml. What you need to do is you need to go into that folder, into that map group pos dot xml, and you need to copy everything that's in there. Once you've copied everything that's in there, come back out of it. Come. Go back to this bit where all your database folder is and your storage folder. All the way down and you'll see you've got a map group pos XML here too. 
So this is the one that your server reads from. The one that you get that will be in your storage folder, then your export folder, is what you've just generated, okay? It's not going to read from that. Um, so to get it to read from that, we need to put it into this one. So what you then do is you go into this map group path XML. And you'll have a load of um, bit objects and stuff that look like this. Yeah, and the new one that you get, obviously I couldn't show you because I didn't generate it. But for you it'll be there, okay, as long as you followed everything correctly. Um, so you'll have something that looks like this. Um, this is like well, this is my one. This is the custom one, but you'll have something in here that looks similar with just the default one. Okay um, So what you do is you would uh, Copy all that and just delete it. I mean you don't need to delete it. You could just uh, the one um, When I say copy don't copy you've copied the one from the export folder Okay, what you need to do is just press control a so it highlights it don't copy it then what you would do is you can either delete it which is what i do or at this stage once it's all highlighted you could just press ctrl v to paste the one that you have copied but to make it easy and uh, i don't know i just like to delete it so it's a blank page and then i paste in what i've copied once you've copied in the the one from the mac group pos that was in the export folder. Yeah, you'd save it. Um, make sure you save it. And then you need to go back to your init C file. And then all the way down here. Now, you, you won't probably have so many objects to start with, so you won't have to scroll that far. I've got loads. So what you do, you come back down to this command line. Now, at this stage, you could delete this command line because you've got the file that's generated the items. But for future projects, in case you want to add more custom areas at a different date, at a later stage, it's just so much easier to keep this command line instead of having to go and get it again and repaste it in. I just keep it here. But to stop it reading it, like I said a bit earlier on, just put the two forward slashes. So them just means you don't need to delete this and it just makes it easy, okay? So put them two forward slashes in, save it. Once you've saved it, I don't know if I just saved it, I don't think I did. Uh, once you saved it, just exit it. And if you want to now, at this stage, you could go back into your storage folder and the export folder that would be there, you don't need it no more. So you could just delete it. Uh, you could keep it if you want to. Um, but I always delete it because you don't need it. But then once that's still done, that's it. You just start up your server and log in. Make sure in your type XML you set loop to spawn at the areas, at the locations where you put your custom objects. So actually, if you built like a custom objects on, on the coast, so a tier 1 area, Make sure you've actually got items that is going to spawn on tier one. Uh, you're probably going to be cut, um, making a military area. That's probably what you're going to do, like I've done. So make sure you've got items that's going to spawn on tier one and at military. Um, if you've got them spawning at tier four, say, but you've got your uh, your custom objects down on tier one, you're not going to see anything spawn there because they're not set to spawn there so in your type xml make sure you've got the spawn um to actually spawn in that area that you've made the map uh, but that's it that's all you need to do so thanks for watching guys um if you do have any trouble or anything just leave me a message in the comments i'll try and get back to you and try and show you a bit more but i think i've explained it so you understand and show you what to do but yeah um i tend to try and bring some more tutorials out as well hopefully but anyway that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye